Our first focus on the security sector is the Directorate of Immigration and Passport Control. This Directorate of Immigration is under the Ministry of Internal Affairs. It is mandated with a regulation of incoming and outgoing of people on the country's international frontiers. Empowered our uh, the foot patrols along the border to ensure that they arrest and comprehend any illegal immigrant trying to access the country. Our teams on ground are patrolling to ensure that uh, no illegal immigrant accesses the country at any one time. The Directorate provides highly demanded services to the nationals and non-nationals, which calls for dynamic operations based on prevailing technology. The application of uh, application process of apply applying for a passport, where you can do this in the comfort of your home, and because of this, we have uh, increased on the number of people who are who are applying and acquiring passports. Previously, we were issuing about 1,000 or so passports in the past one year. This number has now increased to 2,000. But how did it put its resources to better use in the financial year ending? The Immigration Office claimed to have expanded its visibility with branches across the country. So increased on enrollment centers. We have uh, the headquarters here. We have enrollment center, which processes about 2,000 daily. We have a, a, another one in Imbarara Regional Office. We have one in Eastern Uganda, located in Mbale, Mbale Regional Office. We have uh, another office in uh, Gulu, catering for that part of the country. Over the years, Ugandans living in the diaspora have had challenges when it comes to processing for new passports. This financial year, the Directorate established offices in different countries to process passports and other relevant documents. Uh, we opened two months ago, actually, opened a, a passport office in London, handling about 50 uh, passport applicants a week in London. From there, we moved to Washington, I think uh, two weeks ago. We opened the office in uh, Washington at our embassy. This office uh, processes about also 50 applicants of our Ugandans living there. However, the expansion of the directorate is being challenged with limited resources and managers are appealing for more resource allocations to the Directorate of Immigration to ease its operations. Very quick passports. And these are not small numbers. These are big numbers. So we have been overwhelmed by very huge numbers. And our capacity as a, 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 a directorate is a bit limited. And we have had the same manpower the same people who have been handling 800 applicants is the same handling the 2,000. So we call upon the government and uh, the concerned Ministry of Public Service to, to in future consider us for more personnel. He at the Directorate of Immigration, the working condition of workers warrant an immediate attention. Immigration officials are supposed to work for 24 hours, which is not well defined by the public service recruitment arrangement. Another ministry that does not work 24 hours. For us, we work 24 hours, but we get the same, 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 same salary. So to motivate our people uh, to, do, to be able to work throughout the night becomes a problem. So we appeal to government to look into this, into the welfare issue of our people. And adopt internet infrastructures hindering the electorate speed of operations to make timely print out of passports. Sometimes we have uh, network problems. Like I told you earlier on, we are integrated with, uh, with sister uh, agencies like uh, NIRA, like uh, URA, 
but sometimes because of uh, system failures, we fail to to link to those sister agencies. This in turn leads to huge volumes of people at the different passport centers. Abdul Nasser Lubwama, UBC News.